Assalamu alaikum. This is Faisal. Uh, today I will talk about unit testing and mocking. So, before proceeding, what uh, let's explore some of the projects. Uh, the most popular projects, or one of the most popular projects, uh, Newton Soft uh, for .NET and Google JSON. So let's go to the Newton Soft first. It's a huge, big project, thousands of thousands of lines of code here, and uh, inside of this JSON convert class, let me just change this invariant culture with current UI culture and I will build it rebuild all succeed or in the JSON uh, let me do this In our presentation, we have discussed. So, this JSON convert has refactored in the latest version, so you will not get the similar code. But let's do some changes. And in the JSON, it is intact. So far, I got, and I have added this else break statement. So now, my question to you is, if I give the bin or that means the binary I do some build here and give you the DLL what did you do can you just use it to your projects without testing do you have that gut feeling I hope you wouldn't do that that means you will need to test that code again but next question if you want to test then how can you test the whole project you, you have seen those are the very very big project very very big project and each of the classes are internally used one by another or that this one has the hundreds of thousands of lines of code so how would you test and number three if you want to test then what UI would you uh, will you use what UI user interface will you use to test you can't so these are the major problems to test so we need something we need some safety net some automatic testing tools which can test every function for us on behalf of us so this is the unit testing so unit testing automatically tests every function or, or uh, the function we write of our project so before proceeding now you have some uh, feelings that okay uh, unit testing might be good for us or might not be why would I write so much test code something like this so so to, to make you convinced let's check who are using the unit testing so this is the jQuery jQuery is using the unit testing this is the test folder AngularJS, another most popular library of the of currently, it it also uses the test unit test test folder. This is the Microsoft's ASP.NET stack, and you can see they are also using the unit test. It's the entity framework, currently most popular uh, framework of .NET framework of the .NET world. It is also using the unit testing what about the PHP PHP is also using unit testing and uh, what about the Java 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 is also using the unit testing you can see at the end the folder spring test and 
not worth not to mention the MongoDB is also using the unit testing so everyone every big company every big product is also using the unit testing so one of my mentor uh, virtual mentor Naresh Chain I, I, I got these uh, points here so if you don't write the unit testing what will happen you quickly write a lot of code someday something will break and you will start finding the bug but it will not be a uh, very easy and so on so why we will write test because it will keep us out from the debugger and others you can uh, the each of the points are self explanatory okay so good unit test so okay we are convinced that okay unit testing is good so we will write unit test so what should we think what should we consider before writing the unit tests our unit test should be express intent not implementation details so our method should be said that I want to test this method not how we will test for example uh, we want to test the manager the student manager is working uh, student managers uh, mm, date time calculation logic is right so we will write that student manager date time test not that we will implement these this 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 test we will go it later each of the unit tests should be simple and small they should be run very fast they should be run in isolation and they should be able to run in parallel and mm, use data makes them easy to read and understand okay. so the tools we will use for unit testing for C sharp is N unit, MS unit, and others. For the Java, we will use the J unit. For PHP, there is PHP unit. For CPP, CPP unit. For JavaScript, there is a JSMIN and Q unit, JS. So, so how we will write? How we will, will we write the unit test? So we must need a testing framework. We must add a header on the class which we will want to uh, run automatically. And we will add a header of the method which we will want to run automatically. So the for the basic structure of C Sharp, this is the basic structure. As you can see, uh, we have added a test class header at upper of the test class method so test class name and uh, the test method as the method header what about the Java so similar the Java has a similar J unit 4 dot class is a test class header and at the test is a test method header so pretty much same I'm not going to write any code because each of those are already hosted of the online you can test it from there so for example I wrote my XML parser it takes some values it changes is uh, the replaces these split and get returned the value very simplistic uh, XML so how will I test this method works we will create this class and we will add this method and inside of that we create the class 1 object and pass this value and check that whether we get that this test value or not if we don't get the test according to the value it fails this is the whole scenario of the project what about the uh, C sharp mm. similar code we have uh, XML parser get value it takes the value with XML nodes split it and then return s 
and if our returned value is not equals to test then it will uh, show us failed and uh, we can run it through this right click and run unit tests there is there are two ways we can uh, test a method the number one is positive path testing number two is negative path testing positive means we will give the method the uh, actual values on which it will work and the negative path testing is we will not provide the appropriate values and see how the method works and how the method goes for example uh, in if we test any insert function which uh, inserts some value then if we provide appropriate values of insert of appointment it will give us a success true and you can see the method also states that but if we provide null it should not give us a success true so we are expecting false is success false and if in this case it is giving us true then the insert method has some problem so tips one use the name as meaning meaningful as possible don't test multi multiple logic this is another uh, two methods uh, as you can see each of the method is expressing the intent not the implementation details so two method so there is a smell I got here that is the code duplication so how can I do that so we will okay so this is the refactoring so actually uh, each of the test method has some testing running sequence that is there is a start point there is a test initialize method called the test method is called and then the test cleanup method is called and end this is the uh, running system of for each of the test method so inside of us we will uh, refactor the student manager uh, object generation inside of the test initialized uh, method so that uh, before uh, running each of the test method uh, the test initialize worked called and after each of the test initial is called the test cleanup method is called something like this so this is the actual refactored code this is very self-explanatory and uh, if you have any question feel free to ask me uh, in the uh, video uh, details what about other layers so we will discuss it at the uh, next videos thank you